Hello, and welcome to the morning news. I am Peter Kirk. And I am Linda van der Velden. Our top story today is about the global pandemic. COVID-19 continues to spread. As we are focused on the virus, experts believe that we are actually in an even bigger scale pandemic that nobody is aware of. The pandemic of concept of vast individual delusion, or COVID. This is the real global pandemic that has been going on for billions of years. The reason that nobody is aware of it is because our mind is affected. And as a result, we can only see and remember things with distortion. We have all forgotten what it is like without COVID and do not see or remember anything real or true. Most people reject this statement, saying that they surely don't have distorted vision or memory. Research has been carried out around the globe on whether we have all, without exception, been affected by COVID. Evidence is found by people who have glimpses of real memory and vision that pierce through the distortion. Jason Warwick from Spain has more. Jason. Thank you, Peter and Linda. Many people here have reported having those glimpses. Let me take you now to some so they can report directly on what they saw and experienced. The profound things that I saw was one of them was I had this experience that everything was the same instant. So every thought I had slipped into the same instant and I could see that time was simultaneous. Another thing that I saw was that I had no control over my actions or my body. So it was like I would do something or my body would seemingly do something in a very involuntary way and then my mind would catch up then I would think about it. So it was like reversed. Whereas I would always think I would have a thought, I would make a conscious decision to do something and it would play out. But this reversed that whole thing. My body, I had no control over my body at all. It was completely, I was like observing what it would happen. And then the periods got longer and longer that I was seemingly in control again. And the periods where I was out of yeah. control got Reverse. smaller. So from the beginning when it happened, I was completely out of control. And then as t hours went on, as days went on, I regained my, my control over my life. But it must have just been that I just like suppressed something so much that I got everything together again, and closed up that hole. <laughs> and this one day, um, I was preparing for meditation. <laughs> And I spotted this crow sitting on a branch and suddenly it was like I became this crow. I, I was the one sitting on the branch and looking around, feeling totally transformed, totally different and seeing completely different perspectives of the world. Um, like I could see down below where I live, which I'd never really seen before. I live on a second floor apartment and so I could see down underneath into my neighbours. And it, it was a totally, total shift in perception, <laughs> one that I hadn't <laughs> imagined. Or You were a crow. Yeah, I was, a, I was a crow, yeah, somehow. <laughs> there, was only, there was only light and there was only, you know, like it was an expansion and I, I still heard birds and I heard a truck and I... And that was all, all part of it. And, um, you know, everything, like when I, when I look like, when I would see this, I would see just you know, light radiating from, yeah, just everything radiated and, and it was, um, and when I looked at people, you know, it was 
everyone looked so lovely and and but in a uh, you know and especially the imperfections were so beautiful it was just um yeah wow that is definitely different than what we hear about our everyday experience body identification is replaced by love and light and time seems to have disappeared back to you peter and linda thank you jason marina from mexico is bringing us more stories marina thank you peter and linda I have a few people here with me, and they can tell us what they see and remember during these glimpses. Yeah, I feel like the, the, the things that stand out to me most in the memories was, was when I was around people. I don't know why that is, but it was almost like everything else got, got eliminated in, in some way, and that the only thing that felt like there was something coming through, almost like a, like a, this, like, like a light or something that was coming through and I just remember yeah I can remember like feeling like so much like joy and and like like this this sense of of all as well and and you know just like like I'll say innocence but it's not that's not a good enough word <laughs> like um like like this this feeling like everything is like so perfect and so amazing and 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 yeah like like I was saying talking to people and seeing them and seeing like this kind of like <laughs> hmm. <laughs> yeah 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 like this feeling like like I just had so much to say and that that was coming through me like uh um how do I put it? Like, like almost like like there was I, I, there was no identification as as a person or anything like that. It was just like this light and this love, like that was just pouring and pouring and pouring. And anybody who I met, you know, who happened to show up in my face, whoo, it was like whoo, 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 this feeling like I was just so <laughs> being completely lifted up and and carried in this intense love and this joy and and everything about them. I, this is this is the part I loved. It's everything about them was just so gorgeous. I felt like I was almost like I was a light, and they were attract like flies get attracted to lights, <laughs> like but it, but it wasn't personal. Like it wasn't like Susan or anything like that. It was it was more um, the light actually. The light was the thing that they were attracted, and I was attracted to it too. So we, it was like we were all attracted to this light together kind of thing and then just sort of being caught up and I remember like it was almost like certain certain people who were around me at the time some of them you know before it happened it was like they were kind of like so-so about me then you know could care less about me but when this light came in suddenly they they were drawn to me and they wanted to like just sit or like almost like kind of sit in the light or something like that and that's like I was transported and suddenly I just felt like these intense energy or love or light I don't know how to describe it it doesn't have words to describe it but like that was everything I knew that nothing had gone wrong in the past I I knew that you know my mother had never done anything bad to me I knew that everything has been planned with love for me it's all like a quiet a peace um, a love that's so strong and has no words and generates a connection with with something that's unexplainable. Nothing else was actually going on, so there was nothing to take seriously at all. Like there was nothing. Like it was like like you're in a dream, and any some people have had lucid dreams where they're aware they're dreaming and they look around that this is cool. Like <laughs> everything feels so light and happy and 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 actually funny. You know, like there's really nothing, nothing, nothing to get. Not, certainly nothing to worry about or problems or anything like that. And the sense of time completely out the window. Like there's no time. Like it's like it's almost like this feeling like everything is happening right now. You know, and it's just the images are changing. So there's the, the, the linear sense that we're so addicted to. We're so addicted to things happening. This happens and this happens, you know, like this, this time kind of thing. Totally different. Like it's like everything, I don't know. It's like everything is right now, right now. And there's all this love. And let's just have fun in this love together. That, that's it. That's it. <laughs> it was like the only thing really going on. And, and, and yeah, and, and. 
I can go. I feel like it's just um, the the main thing is that it it, it did fade. You know, it was like almost like coming, getting so swept up into this this love, and then at some point along the way, it did. It is. It's almost like it just washed away, and I was like this person again, and I was like in time again, and people are in your face. They're not. They're not joining you in a love at all. Like <laughs> it's more like the complete opposite. I would say if it's like taking whatever the perceptual thing is and completely flipping on it, flipping it on its head, so that everything is is about yeah is about that that experience of of joy so um yeah though the real memory fades people still bring with them a clearer sense of purpose in life they also smile more and become more friendly even though that can fade too unless dedicated mind training is carried out mind training are you saying there is something we can do to recover from covid Yes, Peter, it is a systematic mind training for the mind to let go of distortion for good. However, the training program is met with mixed reactions because it is a long-term program and requires dedication. Thank you, Marina. We will continue to follow how the program goes and we'll bring you more reports. Coming up next is Martha showing us how to bake an apple pie for this holiday season.